What up, it's your boy NWP, and today we're going to talk about, is Call of Duty actually dying? Since Call of Duty Ghosts, we've been hearing a lot of people say Call of Duty's dead, you know, Call of Duty's dying, and is it really true? Well, we're going to talk about it. But before we do, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted any time that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, I'm running a giveaway. The link is in the description. Click it. 50 bucks, your favorite gaming currency, be it Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox. It's really up to you. But you don't got to. If you, if you don't need COD points or V-Bucks or whatever have you, I won't judge you. Do your own thing. So anyways, guys, there's been a lot of debate over the years of whether or not Call of Duty is dying or dead, for that matter. And, you know, it is definitely to the point where Call of Duty probably hit its peak of uh, popularity. And most people... <clears throat> that are interested in the game probably uh, kind of want more of the older play style and that's kind of the way the you know most games work now if we look at something like this and it's not the most perfect metric but the viewership is so so substantially down compared to where it was and if you look at you know fortnite and League of Legends, League of Legends specifically more than Fortnite, it's been up there for a very, very long time. And because of that, it being at the top, you can kind of tell that League of Legends probably has one of the largest player bases that is in existence currently. But that doesn't mean that a game is dead necessarily. But it does look like Call of Duty is kind of going the way of Halo, where Halo is dead. Okay, I loved Halo. I was the biggest Halo fan when I was younger, and I would suggest everybody to play Halo back in the day. But the problem is is that when once the developers disconnect from the community and their end goal and what we're expecting as a consumer it changes so so drastically... Um, from title to title, you typically end up having a fall of like, you know, in terms of popularity, you just fall. It just plummets. It, 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 there's nothing you can do. So if we were talk about like the Twitch metric, which is the easiest way because most video games, including Call of Duty, are now just hiding, you know, the population base. How many people are playing is not even listed anymore, which is ridiculous because you should be able to tell where uh, is popular to play what server is you know the you got the most uh, efficient ping and you know and the most population is is really something people look for in gaming especially with pc play so if you're on pc and you're coming from like battlefield it, call of duty is probably not going to seem very interesting to you because it's all locked away and hidden and they tell us things like the servers are running at 60 hertz, but what, what are you talking about the servers? There is no servers in multiplayer. And if you think there is, like, you got another thing coming. Like, there might be, like, a small amount that work in a very specific way, but the second that you, let's say, live in California and party up with somebody in New York, you immediately are now on host client-based connections. Matchmaking is not going to give you that connection that you think you're going to get. So, in my opinion, I don't know 100% if Call of Duty is dead, but looking at the viewership and looking at the numbers that they're claiming for, you know, being the hottest seller of October and, uh, you know, continually rising... I just can't buy into it as as much as like, you know, is it just because there was nothing else good that came out in October? Like, you know, like nothing came out. Battlefield 5 is pretty much trash and just released. Um, Red Dead Redemption could be the greatest game ever, but it, it's not like it's a niche game. You know what I mean? It, people are not going to be like, oh, yeah, I totally totally want to play red dead redemption over you know the new call of duty like no there's just there's not as many people are going to say that and there never will be so if you really look at the situation that we have in gaming right now 
it's a lot of disconnect between older developers that made really popular games and the new crowd. And this could be easily explained in that nobody ever wanted, uh, you know, Black Ops 3 Advanced Warfare or Infinite Warfare. Nobody ever wanted those games from Call of Duty. You know, those games technically already exist. <clears throat> and if you were to look just a, just take a second okay and go look around crisis gears of war halo um and uh, you know like and what was that planet something or other uh you know there's just and then uh planet side not that's not even the game i was talking about like lost planet or something like that i can't even remember but there's so many futuristic games that came out and none of them grabbed the uh explosive you know, amount of you know hype that came from modern warfare or modern warfare 2 black ops black ops 2 was like the pinnacle height well you, i guess okay so the pinnacle was actually like right before ghosts released when everybody was hyped about call of duty ghosts but Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was probably the pinnacle height of popularity for Call of Duty because the game was just slightly futuristic. Like, there was just weird things, like, that we would be thinking about working on, okay? Like, a taser grenade is not really that, like, futuristic in reality. It's just kind of weird to think about. But it could exist. The majority of the weaponry was also actual, like, still real weaponry or, you know, just slightly modified to look futuristic weaponry. And then we got into Call of Duty Ghosts, which was pretty much, for the most part, just a modern warfare. And there was like one really unique futuristic thing, and that was your, um, oh, what was that thing? The Oracle, the Oracle system, which would, you know, make you glow through walls and, and allow people to see you. But technically speaking, that could just be some type of heat signature uh, and glasses kind of situation, but you know, that's, I'm not some scientist developing this stuff, so I don't have any real idea of what I'm talking about in that regard, but a lot of this stuff is real stuff that exists, flashbangs, concussion grenades, uh, you know, the M67 frag grenade that's in there, like a lot of these things really do exist, and they were in Black Ops 2, and that made Black Ops 2 really fun, but the thing that really made it fun it wasn't anything to do with the futuristic uh, aspect of Black Ops at all. See, the big thing was it wasn't kill streaks; it was point streaks, and that changed everything for a lot of players. There's a lot of people that you know maybe don't slay as well as others, but can get a lot of good shots on people, you know. But they just they can't finish the kill. So people loved the entire idea of playing you know and, and being able to actually assist and you know do objectives and get those streaks out and that is what i think really made black ops 2 so popular along with the competitive play aspect there's another major aspect to it but the game was way uh in, it was way above and ahead popular uh, before league play became popular so there was actually a lot of pros not even playing league play when it first was out. So, you know what I mean? Like they were just kind of like, screw it with whatever. We'll play GBs. We'll play, uh, you know, icon matches and uh, all that type of stuff. So it, it really was a good game. And at the beginning, before all the patches and changes and stuff like that, it, you know, a lot of people were still iffy on the fence about it, you know, for like a week. And then it blew up, you know. Black Ops 2, even though personally not my favorite COD, it was definitely the height of the COD popularity. <clears throat> and while I think that COD is in danger of dying, I do not think it is dead. And I do not think it is quite dead yet. But I do think that they do need to do something big with Blackout more specifically than anything else to make Call of Duty uh, resurrected. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. And thanks for liking. And as always... Have a good one.